Let's talk about derivatives of piecewise functions. Let's start with an example. Here's an example of a piecewise function. It comes in two pieces, and let's think about taking its derivative. Let's start by drawing its graph. For x less than 0, it's 2x. This is the graph of 2x. For x greater than or equal to 0, it's x cubed. This is the graph of x cubed. Remember that derivative gives slope. So for x less than 0, the slope of this line is going to be 2. So we can say the derivative for x less than 0 is just going to be 2. The derivative of 2x is, of course, just 2. For x greater than 0, we take the derivative of x cubed. The derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x squared. The slope at any particular point here is going to be 3x squared. So we can say f prime of x is 2 for x less than 0 and 3x squared for x greater than 0. But what the interesting part and the issue is, is what happens at x equals 0. Notice that I've left x equals 0 or any definition for what f prime of 0 is out of the, out of the description of f prime, out of the rule for f prime. And that's because f turns out to not have a derivative at x equals 0. It doesn't have a derivative at x equals 0 because the slope coming from the left is 2, but the slope coming from the right is 0. So there's no unique slope at x equals 0. There's a different left slope than a right slope. And in this case, we say there's no derivative. We use the terminology to say that the function is not differentiable at x equals 0. It's differentiable for x less than 0, the derivative is 2. It's differentiable for x greater than 0, the derivative is 3x squared. It's not differentiable at x equals 0 because the left slope is different than the right slope. And so when we're dealing with piecewise functions, when we want to take derivatives, we have to be careful at where they join to make sure that the derivative actually exists there. If it's not, if it doesn't exist there, if there's a different left slope and right slope, we say it's not differentiable. And we leave out that x equals 0 is part of the definition of the derivative. f prime of 0 doesn't exist, so we don't include it in part of the rule. We'll see another piecewise function and look more closely at differentiability at the join in the next video.